guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. I hope you're all doing well. Today is a autumnal home sense home decor haul from loads of goodies that I have purchased from TK Maxx and Home Sense recently. So I'm gonna put out this disclaimer and this warning that if autumn is not for you, if you think it's too early, then maybe just a bookmark and save this video for a later date because a lot of it is autumn seasonal things. If like me you're a lover of autumn then hopefully this video will bring you a, a bit of joy and put a smile on your face today because honestly I can't tell you how excited I am. So I do have a sponsor for today's video. We've got a sponsor Barney and it is Italo Jewelry who I have worked with previously. They are essentially an online retailer of jewelry. Some really nice good quality pieces without the expensive price tag. Excuse me, are you going through my bag of goodies which aren't for you? At least the majority of them. So the way that the items arrive, they come beautifully boxed in this very regal looking packaging with it being white navy and a bit of gold. And then you do get the silver polishing cloth and the warranty. You also get 60 day return policy should you wish to exchange or like say for instance, the person that you're buying for, if you're getting someone a gift, if it's the wrong size, then you can do that within 60 days. They also do one year warranties on their uh, products too which is amazing so not only do i have four new items to share with you i also have a discount code for you guys should you wish to purchase anything yourself it's ff20 for 20 percent off your order yes 20 percent i'll leave the links in the description box for all the items that i have picked out they do worldwide shipping this first item that i've got is a ring i've actually got a few rings to layer up this one in particular i've ordered in a size us 6 and i think this one goes on my yeah it goes on my ring finger so so this is actually my engagement ring. I feel like, is it bad luck? I don't know. So I also picked out this ring from their website, which very designer inspired. If you know Cartier rings, very similar. This is in a size US 7, this one. How pretty is that? It's almost, it, it's obviously yellow gold with just a little touch of sparkle on the actual sort of the nail head. Then I did also very kindly get sent these. They actually picked these ones out for me. Just a plain stud. I think of the three, this one might be my favourite. It's, I have to show you close up so you can see what I mean. It's almost like a hexagonal shape with just a little bit of detailing on each edge. And this one I went for in a size US 8. So a big thank you to Italo Jewelry for very kindly sponsoring this part of today's video. Links will be left in the description box for all of these items along with a discount code. And otherwise, make sure you're set and ready with a nice cozy drink because we're getting into the autumn vibes with today's video. And let's jump in to this home sense haul. But the first thing that I picked up is actually one of these standing dog bowls. And this is definitely the least autumnal item within the haul. See, Barney's getting taller. His neck and his limbs and everything are quite long. He seems to be quite a lean puppy. So I thought I would get this so that he doesn't have to like stretch down. And there is a bowl missing. It's in the kitchen just because I've um, put some water in it for him. I found the bowls that I've previously bought. He's kind of outgrown now. So um, these are big and these will be good for him into adulthood. So yeah, $29.99 that is. It's on a really nice wooden base. I feel like it's only right to just share with you some of the other pet products that I did pick up. Oh my God, look at these. Look at the different sizes as well. So I got him two pumpkin spice puppuccino toys, which is just... This melts my heart. Um, this Halloween plush dog toy from Fuzz Yard is $3.99. And then the larger one is $7.99. He quite likes his soft toys outside as well. So I feel like the bigger ones are better outside. Oh, it has a squeaker as well. Let's see if he'll come. What is that? Which one do you want? Catch. Yes, good boy. But anyway, yeah, I thought these were adorable, both from Fuzz Yard. And they also had loads of other kind of Halloween themed dog toys as well. And then the last of the pet friendly items that I picked up are two bags of these treats, which look, honestly, they sound delicious. So we've got this one at $3.99. These ones are pumpkin and banana flavored treats. And then this one is pumpkin and apple flavored. And this one was actually in the clearance for three pounds. Still got a best before of September. So we've got all month to 
eat through them. So yeah, I thought I would pick them up for him. Good sort of size treats to take on walks as well. And then I picked up this blanket, which I is not obviously pet item, but we do actually use it with the intended purpose of having a pet on the sofa, especially a golden retriever on a black sofa. We've decided it's best to just cover the sofa in throws. So we do actually have this throw in white or like a creamy kind of colour. And I saw that they do it in this plain beige colour. So it's from Bella Lux. One that I bought previously, which is the exact same, just a different colour, was $19.99. They've upped the price since because this one was $24.99. There it is. So yeah, it's just super soft. And this actually has washed really, really well. The other one anyway, since having it. Yeah, it's a new blanket for you. Um, so yeah, I just feel like it's a good colour for him to be able to lounge on. The other one's not getting tatty, but I've decided to just pick up an extra one to cover the sofa completely. These are just then so easy to just throw in the wash. Okay, moving on. I've got this set of pumpkins, which are not exactly in my colour scheme, although I do really like this peachy kind of coloured one. They've got gold stems as well. So really, really pretty, kind of weighty just an alternative size pumpkin. I've got some bigger ones, I've got some smaller ones in here, so you'll see a whole range of sizes. I am gonna spray paint these ones white, and so try and keep the stems gold, because they are really pretty. These were $7.99. For the set of three. I also picked up these ones from Acorn and Oak. This range is the Harvest Collection. These are so pretty. They are actually candles and I don't know whether to burn them or not because they're so pretty. I kind of feel like I just want them as decorative ornaments. That branding as well by the way. I did pick up something else. These ones were $6.99. However, I did also spot these smaller miniature candles Again, candles, but quite frankly, I kind of want to keep them as just display only. So from that same branding, love that branding by the way, and it's a really nice kind of subtle, that's almost like white with a brushed gold effect. Love these ones. These ones were $5.99 for six. Are you destroying it already? Yeah. Oh, out. Can I have it? Where is it? Where is it? What's this? What have you done? So, oh my goodness. Cute pumpkin or what? No, 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 this isn't a toy for you. This is for me and me only. $7.99 this one was, and it's a gorgeous, weighted as well. It's got like bean bags in it. Um, white fuzzy pumpkin in this kind of, um, what's that? Like a chenille kind of fabric? It's not really chenille, but it's kind of fuzzy, super, super soft. I thought that was really good for $7.99. Usually ones that size are like $9.99, $12.99. And I also got this glass one, which does actually light up. And this one was $7.99 as well. It does need batteries, but you just switch it on on the bottom and it just stands. It's got a glass stem as well. Should we give you a treat? Oh, watch these. Sit, speak. Actually smell really good. Pumpkin, oats, barley, potatoes, apple, sunflower oil, molasses, cinnamon, natural flavorings, and that's it. Can you speak? <coughs> good boy. Leave it. Okay. Good boy. Oh, I got, obviously I got loads of candles, but I got this reed diffuser from Sand and Fog. We love a Sand and Fog product in this household, especially at this time of the year as we lead into autumn. I've not actually started burning any of my autumn candles yet. And trick is, or tip I would say, is burn through your seasonal candles so that the time the next year comes, you can stock up on some brand new ones. Because otherwise, if you end up saving them, you then don't burn the old ones. Pumpkin harvest, which just sounds delightful. And the little reeds come in this gorgeous packaging with little pumpkins on, so cute. So this one was $6.99. And then I also got this from Sand of Fog, again with that same packaging on. These are actually just kind of church candles, pillar candles. $5.99 for a set of eight. So they are unscented, purely just the packaging that is making these autumn themed because there's nothing about a white candle that is autumn, really, autumn related. Oh, gosh, why do autumn candles make me so excited, Barney? We've not had an autumn with you before. So this is Button Up Pumpkin. 
And this is what I'm talking about when I talk aesthetically pleasing candles that you don't want to burn, but you've just got to do it. You've got to burn through them so that next year you can start afresh and burn new ones. So this one, I had a good sniff of all the candles because one thing about autumn scents is they can be quite sickly, especially all the pumpkin-y kind of scents. So this butternut pumpkin is definitely sweeter but there's a lot of spices in there so it kind of cuts through that sweetness barney that's not for you oh this one's so cute i forgot i got this one actually it's a smaller candle this one and it's in heritage pumpkin i think they i think i remember bigger ones of this last year but i just thought again that mismatch of different sizes and everything to have them excuse me <laughs> to have them side by side like a bigger one with a cute diddy one so the smaller ones are only 2.99 so that is is that all the candles that i've got i think it might be oh these are cute so these again i'm going to spray paint white with that same chalk paint and the stalks on them are brown so i could take the stalks out and replace and put them back in once i've spray painted them white but i think i might spray paint the entire thing white do you know what it reminds me of the white company do little table place settings like felt pumpkins which i actually have from last year but they also do little mini ceramic ones and i feel like if i spray paint these white they kind of look like that these ones are only 4.99 for 10. so we've got this pack of coffee there was four different flavors this one in particular cinnamon hazelnut sounds sort of like my favorite one hazelnut cream vanilla hazelnut and just regular hazelnut 3.99 and these are ground coffee so for our filter coffee machine then we have an autumnal wreath this one was 6.99 and i liked how subtle it was you know half of it is twig the other half has a bit of foliage on and little white pumpkins i, mean, I thought this would look nice on our front door probably a bit too early to put all of these bits out just yet i do like september to be autumn in terms of actual decor and burning candles and things like that but there's no harm buying early because if you remember last year they had like one stock of stuff in home sense and then that was it once it was sold out it was sold out and they seem to have hardly anything so uh yeah i actually mentioned these in my last home sense haul which wasn't too long ago and um didn't pick them up but i decided to on this occasion seeing as though i'm doing an autumn themed haul uh, i couldn't resist so it's little silicon brushes for cleaning pots and everything within the kitchen they are in the shape of a maple leaf which is so cute in green and this brown one's my favorite so yay yay it's a cleaning products woohoo um oh i have three books to share with you this one i've seen in there a few times and i've always been tempted to purchase it and i don't know why i haven't because I love the aesthetic of it and I'm on the hunt for like these nice aesthetically pleasing excuse me that's not for you just trying to eat my pumpkin I've been on the hunt for aesthetically pleasing cookbooks for our future kitchen and this has a gorgeous like kind of rustic texture to it so RRP of £26 this one was £14.99 and it's all about simple effortless food big flavours simple dining so loads of recipes in there love that book and then i got two more books and these ones oh my god i feel like i'm just this is just made for me this book so this little coffee table book is called dogs at home nice cover this one was actually in the clearance i've seen it in there before and left it and i think it was uh, about 15 pounds but it was in the clearance for 10 pounds so i decided to take that as a sign and buy it it is literally like the cover says a load of dogs at home photographed at home and i just love that not only for obviously looking at gorgeous cute dogs but also interiors in spoke like that look at that there are some amazing houses featured within this book the last book that i got is this from pavilion books it is kate watson smith has done mad about the house planner your home your story i do actually have a home planner but this one again it fits with the theme the whole beige gold and black which is going to be a theme running throughout my house so it looks lovely on display and it's one of these practical books that you can fill in and kind of interact with which is me all over 
so you can learn a little bit have a bit of a read but also write within this book as well so this retails for £19 and I got it for £12.99. I've got a couple more cleaning products to add to my collection of cleaning products. This the first one is like kind of little spongies, £3 in the clearance. I love the texture of that and um, like a mini loofah. And then I also got these two beige cleaning utensils with black bristles. I mean, it's a cleaning brush. Uh, this one I like to use on the sofas, these kind of brushes, just to gather all the hair and crumbs and stuff before hoovering um, or like washing it down or whatever. And then this one is a just like a simple utility brush that you just pop in your cleaning utensils pot on top of your sink. And then last but not least, I've just got a load of snacks. No, I haven't. <gasps> How did I forget to show you this one? Another candle. This one is the same company as this one, which is Red Leaf Home, and it's the smaller version. So again, side by side, we thought these looked lovely together. So we've got butternut pumpkin. We've also got harvest leaves, which is probably my favourite one. This one, yeah, six ninety nine. This one's not sweet at all. It's really um, woody, a bit citrusy as well and a bit spicy, love that one. So the last few bits that I've got are all snacks. <laughs> They're all the sort of impulse purchases that you make whilst queuing at the checkout. So this first one is clandestine caramel flavored corn, popcorn. This is probably gonna be my evening snack with Love Island tonight. I also got these snacks which sound amazing, cinnamon swell bites, they had s'mores flavored and birthday cake flavoured as well, I think. £2.79 these ones are. They're made with chia, quinoa and flax. So they're only 90 calories per serving, per 21 pieces, which I think is pretty good. For then I also got this from the kitchen section, this Celle de Guérande from Brittany, which is where I used to live in France. This is just a huge thing of salt, which... <laughs> Gonna take a, I was gonna say gonna take a while for us to get through but Tom really likes his salt so whenever we have food he's like extra on the salt and then I also got this which I like the fact that it was black most of these I see are silver so $3.99 this one was and it's just a little coffee pod holder and I'm thinking of having like they have on the image just like the black and gold capsules in you can even have the orange ones for when it's like autumn time as well oh yeah I forgot I got this okay so if you saw my last haul which I did not too long ago I got the cinnamon maple syrup which I also bought last year and really like it well this year I've spotted this one as well which sounds amazing it's apple butter they've got loads of flavors to be fair they've got like berries and just other like plain maple syrup as well they've got a pecan one um but yeah apple butter sounded a bit of me imagine this drizzled over an apple crumble with a fresh scoop of ice cold vanilla ice cream yeah and then i also got some coffee they always do the most amazing seasonal flavors when it comes to ground coffee for our filter coffee machine so this one was actually in the clearance from 3.99 down to just two pounds and it's in the flavor butter crunch which sounds amazing i always check the best before dates on these this is good until december so we'll get through that and then i also picked up this again in the clearance from 4.99 down to two pound fifty and it is mustard but it's flavored amber beer and we quite often have um mustard for when we're doing like our barbecues depending on what meats we have and everything um and yeah i thought that'd be quite nice to try amber beer flavored mustard and then last but not least, we actually have a bit of a Christmassy purchase, which is a very jumping the gun and ahead of the game. It is in the clearance though, so I'm assuming it's stock left over from last year. But again, the date on this is good. It's good until 2022 in August, so we're fine. And this is £1.70 in the clearance, this one was. And it's just a load of different flavoured hot chocolates. We've got caramel drizzle, white chocolate, gingerbread cookie, s'mores, chocolate candy cane and holiday supreme hot chocolate which all sound amazing to be honest with you i've got some squirty cream in the fridge so i'm thinking a hot chocolate tonight with some popcorn because tom is away on a stag do so i'm going to treat myself i'm going to have love island have a dog next to me giving me cuddles 
might even sleep in the bed tonight, which is a real treat if he does. Now, I did pick up one TK Maxx purchase, i.e. clothing, which I very rarely do these days. TK Maxx, before I did YouTube and everything, was one of my favourite places to shop for clothes because of the bargain that you can buy, because I'm a bargain hunter. And um, very rarely will I actually browse the clothes now because it is obviously time consuming. You've got to be in the mood for a browse in the clothing section. So I end up just heading straight to the homeware. It's what I love most. But I did have a quick look in the final clearance stage section. Stage, what am I talking about? And I found this like kind of champagne gold dress with this really pretty neckline with the double strap, spaghetti strap on one side and then the thicker strap on the other. And it's a bit of a crossover detail on the back, midi length as well, by the way, and a little kind of wrap over detail. It's from Reese. If I can find an image online of what it looked like and a price, an original and an original retail price as well, where this tag once was. In my size as well, in a UK 10. Just wait till you see the price on this Reese dress. £2.50. So how could I leave that? Honestly, it was the only one, it was in my size. Beautiful champagne gold, £2.50. And yeah, that is everything that I picked up. So thank you so much for watching this video. Do give it a thumbs up if like me, you're obsessed with autumn and can't wait for all the autumn content to come. Thank you once again to Italo Jewelry for very kindly sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to use that discount code FF20 for 20% extra off your order and I will leave the links of the items that I personally got down in the description box below. It really really helps out if you do actually fancy a browse on their website if you do shop through my links so the brand can track them and see um, how many of you guys fancy having a browse on their website. So yeah thank you so so much to them, thanks to you guys for watching and I hope to see you all very very soon in my next video. Bye guys!